Hi friends, this is your prophet, prophet great. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We celebrate you greatly and we entreat you. You subscribe, you like and you share. Also drop your comments. Today we are looking at the power of worship. Praise God. There is power in worship. When we worship God, what happens? When we worship God, we command the attention of heaven. John chapter 4 verse number 24. Jesus speaking, he says, The hour has come. For God is a spirit. And they that must worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit. And is looking for them that will worship him in spirit and in truth. So God is looking for men that will worship him. God looks for worshippers to bless them. God looks for worshippers to honor them. God look for worshippers to glorify them. God look for worshippers, true worshippers, to change their lives, to wipe away their tears. God is not looking for men that know how to pray. God is looking for true worshippers. Because worshippers are people of God. Worshippers are friends of God. Worshippers are men that God gives attention to. God loves worshippers. God is delighted with worshippers. That's why the Bible speaking in the book of Genesis 22 verse 5. The Bible says, And Abraham said to his young man, Stay here. Me and Isaac will go yonder and worship God. And we saw the end of Abraham. The Bible said, And Abraham became very rich in silver and in cattle and in gold. The Bible says in Genesis 13, The land could not contain them because of their wealth. Because of their cattle, because of their substance. We saw in Genesis 24 verse number 1, And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Why? Because Abraham was a worshiper. Jesus was a true worshiper. We saw on Mount Transfiguration, how he was worshiping God. And the Bible says his countenance was transformed. His countenance transformed. And he got strength visitations. Elijah and Moses appeared to him. Anytime we worship God, God comes down. Because he, he inhabits the worship of his people. Speaking about Solomon, the Bible says, And when Solomon built the temple for the Lord, the day of dedication, the Bible says, And Solomon stood before the altar and began to worship God. As he began to worship, the Bible says, And the glory of the Lord came down. So much so that even the priest could not minister. The glory came down so strong. We also saw in Acts of Apostles chapter 13, verse number 2 and 3, the Bible says, As they fasted and they ministered to the Lord. Anytime you worship, you are ministering to God. You are magnifying God. You are exalting God. And so, as they minister to the Lord, the Holy Ghost said, God speaks to worshipers. Anytime men worship God, his voice is echoed in their ears, in their hearts, in their spirits. Now, what is worship? What does it mean to worship God? You don't worship God because of the things God has done for you. You don't worship God because of his goodness. You worship God because of who he is. Praise God. That's why the Bible is speaking. Concerning Job, after all that the devil did against Job, he took away everything, destroyed everything. Job said, I know my Redeemer liveth. I know he liveth. Even if he slay me, I will worship him. Praise God. So you don't worship God because of the good things around you, because of the good weather. No. We worship God in the good time and in the bad times. Praise God. So, worshippers are men that are addicted to God. Nothing will make them change their mind about God. They are true lovers of God. They can't do without God. Speaking about Abraham, it seemed as if the promise was delayed. But because Abraham was a true worshipper, the Bible says he staggered not at the promise. Counting him faithful. True worshippers always count God faithful. They don't move. They don't shake. 
Because they know whatever God has spoken to them, it will surely come to pass. Because God to them is not a liar and can never lie. Praise God. Receive the grace to be a true worshiper. Receive the grace to be an addicted worshiper in the name of Jesus. Shalom. God bless you.